Hello everyone, San Bonani, Dumelang, Abshen, Molwen, Tobel, Ah, Lochani. I hope you all good people out. The investigations into the murder of Hilia Regadi have uncovered sensational claims of killings for Muji, poisoning and people disappearing. This comes after police considering to add more charges against the suspects that were arrested in connection with murder of Gadi, who was the daughter of former EFF Secretary General Godrich Gadi. The Sunday Independent publication revealed that Sipum Kadra, the first accused in the case, will be investigated for attempted murder. He allegedly tried to sell two albino children from his fiancée's previous marriage for two million rands for multi purposes to an Eswatini national. Sipom Kaja was arrested after consulting a Sangoma from Gomazi in Pumalanga for cleansing after Hilary Gardi's murder. Police services claim that Sipo allegedly told the Sangoma that, that he killed someone. A senior police officer from Pumalanga claims that Sangoma added that Sipo offered one of the albino children as payment for his cleansing. But the traditional healer refused, then the Sangoma called the police after Mkadra failed to pay him for cleansing. The Sangoma claimed that Sipo has been consulting with him for years and he has been giving him moti for different things besides cleansing him. Sipo Mkadra is also to be investigated for the murder of his former wife Cecilia Sibia, who died in 2019 after allegedly being poisoned. Police suspect that Sipo might have had a hand in her death. As the couple was divorcing, the Sangoma also reportedly told the police that Mkadra allegedly came for cleansing after his wife died. The alleged murderer was supposed to get married last week to his fiancée, the mother of the albino children. The police officer said we are following a strong lead on the issue of the albino children, but we can confirm that they were to be sold for 2 million rands so that they can be killed and used for muti. Philemon Lukele, an Eswatini national in South Africa for years, is accused of number two and was arrested after Mkaja took police to his guest house in Nelspreit. He allegedly claimed that Hilary Regardi was gang raped and shot there on April 29 before she was dumped in bushes 45 kilometers away from Nelspreit. The police officer continued and said, police are following allegations that a security guard who used to work at the guest house was also killed a few weeks before Gardi for allegedly seeing something he wasn't supposed to see. The girls are students around Nelspreit and it is suspected that they were either drugged or intoxicated before the sex OGs. Police also confirmed that they were approached by a man who is believed to be 59 years old and claimed he was shot and left dead by someone he believed it was Sipom Kadra back in 2017. The man told the publication that yesterday that he had a heated argument with Mkadra days before being shot. He said he was shot once in the head inside his garage he described the tragic incident as follows. Two men wearing balaclavas and gloves cornered me inside my garage and shot me once in the head and ran away thinking I was dead. Police refused to arrest Sipo because they said my assailants were wearing balaclavas and it was going to be difficult to prove that Mukajo was one of them. These criminals are really dangerous and cruel. The police should also arrest the Sangoma. What do you think about this situation, people? Please leave a comment down below. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell.